guys, how's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is December 5th, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, NATO is expected to proceed with an update of all defense plans specifically for the protection of the Baltic lands. As all alliance analyzes show the sooner that sooner or later there will be a confrontation with the bear. Eastern NATO countries have only three years to prepare for a bear strike. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 all right let's stop here for a second it says eastern nato countries have only three years to prepare for a bear strike in those three years uh things could change all right um let's say uh the four five uh wins 24 all right, we talking about uh, next year. Let's say four or five gets in. Um, he could, you know, talk to the bear leader and kind of drop all this. Or there's a possibility Mr. Burns could win 2024 again. And that's a guarantee that this could kick into gear. All right, as of right now, uh, I don't see this being in the next three years. Uh, I feel like this is going to happen way before that. Um, so again, uh, I don't see this happening in 2027, all right? Uh, the bear knows that uh, NATO is coming and they're already out there, all right? You got uh, the Baltic region and you have NATO members just uh, getting ready. So I just don't see this happening in, in three years. I feel like it's gonna hit the fan pretty soon, possibly in 2024, all right? So once again, Eastern NATO lands have all, only three years to prepare for a bear strike. Uh, now, the head of that country, P-O-L-A-N-D, National Security, said in an interview with the newspaper. I'm just going to skip that name. All right, guys, I just posted a video not to. Actually, I got a video coming up after this. Kim, the leader of North K, was caught crying. All right. He's putting out a very urgent message to his people. All right, so it's very important. You guys make sure you follow me at Grand Supreme News. I will post that video after this one here. All right, so he would call crying, and they say it's not the first time, but it's the first time I see that man crying. All right, so I, at first, I, you know, I thought he was crying because a Happy Meal uh, shortage going on there, but it's not Happy Meal, something else. All right, so according, I'm just messing around, guys. So according to him, the Alliance must be prepared as quickly as possible. Like I said, I don't think this is going to happen in like three years. I think it's going to hit the fan pretty soon. All right. So in my opinion, again, his opinion, the time frame uh, presented by this land analyst are too optimistic. If WAR is to be avoided, NATO lands on the eastern flank must prepare for confrontation on a shorter time horizon of three years. So they believe that the bear is going to go after them. I just don't see that happening. I don't think the bear is going to even do nothing. The bear is going to say, hey, we already done with the yellow and blue country. That's it. Leave us alone. Uh, but uh, again, according to this person here and even the leader of the yellow and blue country, he said if crane is defeated or you know we lose this uh war the bear is coming after natl uh well again we're gonna see that guys but again those are their opinions all right so the time has come to create a capability on the eastern side that will send a clear message of deterrence aggression now he reminded that uh once again, expert industry in the Bear Federation 
work in three shifts and can restore its uh, resources in the next three years. Once again, uh, this person urged NATO members not to ignore the Bear Defense Minister statement that the Bear Capital would establish new bases in 12 new units in the Western District to the NATO Eastern flank in response to Finn and Swede attention to join the alliance. All right, so again, it's just, it's just a new move because there is new members that joined NATO. So the bear is also making their move. The bear is saying, well, if you two join NATO, well, we're gonna make sure that uh, our region is protected. Um, which again, the bear has every right to do that. Uh, again, if you have, uh, again, let's say just new neighbors and you feel very uncomfortable, you know, you have every single right to put cameras around your house. All right, so you have land, uh, this land sees the bear strike in five to 10 years. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> man. Oh man, these numbers are, man, I would be 50 years old. 10 years, I would be 50. So you mean to tell me, and you know, when I turn 50, that's when things start hitting the fan? Like I said, I don't see this happening. And I mean, there's a possibility, maybe three years. But now it's five to 10 years. Um, in a research paper published on November 8th, DGA blank, uh, once again, you have an independent blank foreign policy research institute concluded that NATO should prepare for an event with the bear in the Baltic. For the reasons uh, NATO lands should develop their capability, the time frame given by this country is five to 10 years. In other words, that will be the amount of time it would take for the bear to rebuild its uh, you know, forces uh, sufficiently for an event to the WEST. The direction of the bear strike could include the Baltic states. All right, so once again, guys, I guess, um, again, this is what they think. So they're putting out these numbers and they, uh, they're coming out with all these, maybe this or maybe that, and maybe in 10 years, so maybe in five years, but this will give the bear more uh, time to, you know, re reboot and get stuff ready. Again, that's their opinion. But uh, my gut tells me that uh, it's gonna hit the fan really quick. Uh, the window for a possible bear strike will open once the bear believes that an event, for example, on the Baltic could be successful. Uh, for his part, you have the, I'm gonna skip that name, leader, seems to agree more with this land think tank's prediction. All right, so much will depend on the yellow blue country, he added. Speaking at the summit of heads of, you know what? All right. So on the other hand, there's uh, this, uh, give me a second here. On the other hand, there are many variables in the calculation that change the situation. Um, it will really depend on the outcome of the WAR in the yellow blue country. But we are seeing that right now. The yellow blue country is just, uh, there's a ticking clock going on for the yellow blue country. They need a lot of by the end of this year. If they don't get uh, any ching ching, that's it. Uh, that means that it's going to be game over for the yellow blue country. NATO is going to have to step in. NATO calls for, I'm going to skip that name, in zone and the boots mo mobility must be increased. So the head of NATO Logistic Command, uh, Alexander, told Reuters in an interview that uh, he would like to see the creation of blank uh, zone in Europe. All right, so this person and the head of NATO uh, Commission um, consider it necessary to significantly supply, uh, give me a second, 
uh, simplify the alliance's logistic. Now, the main reason is said to be uh, possible actions against the bear, given the event taking place in the yellow blue country. All right, so once again, guys, this is basically all worst case scenario. What if in the next three to five years, you know, and again, this is what NATO, these are NATO members just sounding the alarm. They, they're basically putting out this information. The bear has not said nothing. The bear is quiet. The bear is making moves. Don't get me wrong. The bear is getting stuff ready. Uh, St. Petersburg and the bear capital and all that type of stuff. To get, uh, again, the bear is getting ready. But the bear has not said anything about striking NATO members yet. But NATO is the one putting all these information here. So I'm just sharing what NATO think might happen. All right, so the ability to rapidly move NATO boots across these areas is an important part of maintaining NATO combat capability. The mobility of units is hampered by certain conditions, many of which need to be removed, such as advanced notices when crossing lines. Reports on the okay, we're gonna skip some of this stuff here, guys. And again, I will share this link on my Twitter. I've been sharing all the links on my Twitter account uh, when it comes to War News 24 7. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the comments box. All right, NATO desires to have a military version of. All right, so I'm just gonna skip that one. So you have Politico said it's time to. Tear up the NATO and the Bear Fun Founding Act. So the sleeping giant, politic uh, scientist, in his article uh, calls for the cancellation of NATO and the Bear Founding Act. We remind you that in 1997, uh, the Founding Act was signed between NATO and the Bear. Although, uh, excuse me. Uh, NATO and the bear, though which the bear capital accepted the enlargement, but in exchange that NATO will not station permanent forces in Eastern, you know what? So Dennis specifically states, Central and Eastern allies increasingly see their security as tied to the yellow blue country. So reaching consensus will not be an easy diplomatic mission. However, there may be one possible path to the outcome, dismantling the post uh, cold WAR deal with the bear capital, which is now all but dead. The time has come for that. Well, it's just not looking good. And once again, very, very important people, very important uh, members, NATO members, are speaking out. Despite the strong uh, demand of its member from Central and Eastern, uh, NATO has not yet formally revoked the founding treaty. According to Dennis, the reason for this are complex and include the desire of some alliance members, including German, to maintain a balance as well as some minimal uh, framework for a possible return to normal relations with the bear. However, as a result of the geopolitical upheavals of recent years, the bear and NATO have made it clear that they no longer feel bound by the NATO and the bear founding act. Of course, the document was, n was never legally binding. All right, so that's what's going on right now, guys. The preparation of a imminent event to come, according to some NATO members and experts. Uh, again, these are only coming out from that side. They are saying in the next three years, possibly five or 10 years, big things could start hitting the fan. Um, my gut tells me, I don't know, it's gonna be a lot sooner than that. All right, so once again, guys, the bear is making moves. The bear is getting stuff ready. Um, and I did post a video yesterday. If you guys want to check it out, it will be in this channel. But um, NATO is making a lot of moves. Um, the yellow and blue country seems like it's about to 
game over. Um, you have the situation going on in the Middle E. You guys already know I S R A E L. Uh, that situation is still going. You know, tension still rising. But uh, yeah, NATO is making their moves and getting ready for worst case scenario. Now, are we going to see something in the next five to ten years? Nah, I don't see that happening, guys. But again, um, 2024, uh, there's going to be new faces in the spotlights. Uh, possibly four or five might come in. And then we're going to see more new people in the house and whatever in other areas. And uh, which could change all this uh, game around. But uh, again, guys, you know, this is their prediction. But my gut tells me if Mr. Byrne wins 2024, uh, it's going to be game on. And it ain't going to be no three years. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.